guys, teacher Amanda here. I've had a few ask me about the hiring process of VIP Kid, so I wanted to share for some of those of you exploring the idea of becoming part of the VIP Kid family. Okay, nothing that I am saying is based off of VIP Kid like promotion things. I am basing this all on my personal experience through my journey with VIP Kid and helping my other applicants through the process. So this information is all from me, okay? So whenever you're looking at doing VIP Kid, there are three big steps within the VIP Kid hiring process, okay? Step one is the application process, which is done completely online. Okay, please make sure to completely fill out the application in the best of your ability and don't leave anything blank. Within the application, what they're really looking for is that you have two years of um, working with children. Now, this does not have to be in a typical classroom setting. It can be in a daycare, you could have been a nanny, a tutoring program, um, just saying that you were able to work with children. They're looking to see if you have a bachelor's degree. It does not have to be in teaching. You just need a bachelor's degree. Okay. Lastly, they are looking to see if you were eligible to work in the United States or Canada. That is not saying that you have to live there. It is just making sure that you were eligible to work there. Okay. Step two in the process is once you're qualified and you have got all the topics above, your eligibility, Two, year, um, two years work experience and a bachelor's degree, that um, the system will then recognize that you have qualified for all of those and then you enter the demo stage, which is kind of the, well, no, it's not the funnest part. Okay, in the demo stage, you have three different options that you can pick from. Um, option one is you can have a personal interview. Now, that person is typically from Beijing. Um, from applicants that have helped through the process, um, they're not as easy to understand, so it's a little harder. Um, that's not one that I typically refer to my referrals to use. It's not my favorite process for them, um, so it's not really a preference that I would recommend to you as well. Um, option two is the smart demo. In my opinion, it is the easiest and the one I would personally recommend for anybody that I was referring. Now, back in the day when I became a VA Kid teacher, that wasn't an option, but I'm getting lots of positive feedback from the referrals that um, I have sent and heard great things and reviews about this process. So I would recommend that for anybody that was truly interesting in pursuing the IP kit. Now, the smart demo takes place on your smartphone. Um, it basically allows you to do um, about a five minute, well, no, 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 It'll, the review might take a little longer, um, but the review is like what it's like to be a VIP kid teacher, and then there's a five question quiz, and then you're going to teach one slide. Now, they typically give you an example to kind of go off of, just to kind of show what they expect or how to proceed. Um, you have about two and a half minutes to teach that slide. You can redo or re-record as many times as you want until you're happy with the product. So getting comfortable in front of the camera is the number one thing that I had trouble with. I'm still not the best at it, but whenever you record your slide, you're gonna find things that you don't like, you're going to nitpick. That's one of the hardest things to overcome with VIP Kid Teacher, especially in the interview process, whenever you're meeting with other adults and you're having conversations. So getting past that is the hardest thing. So that was the hardest thing for me to do starting out was doing that first teach slide with somebody else watching it. But you are going to have to do a two and a half minute teach slide. Redo it as many times as you want until you feel comfortable um, submitting it. So don't, don't get overwhelmed, it's very easy to do. Just relax and be yourself, okay? If you're already taking the step to be a VIP kid teacher, then right there tells me that you have it in you. So just relax and keep doing it until you feel comfortable enough to submit it. 
If you have questions, reach out to somebody that you trust, a better VIP kid teacher, you can reach out to me. Just somebody that you're comfortable with and ask for suggestions if you're not sure. Okay? Before doing your teach session, I would recommend that you go ahead and have your classroom set up. That way you look professional and that you're ready to go. Now, my backgrounds change. Um, I have one that's very kid friendly, one that's very colorful, one that's, it's just like this. It's very just plain. Okay, it really depends on who I'm teaching. Um, some of my younger students, they really like the bright colors, but some of my older students, not so much. Some of my younger students don't do bright colors very well and it overstimulates them. So as I've been teaching, I'm able to learn what my students can handle and I do change my backgrounds quite frequently to adjust to the needs of my students. Okay? So your last option is that you can record a five minute demo. Okay? Now, this is one that you have to wait longer to hear back from. I'm a very impatient person, so it's not one that I typically recommend um, to the people that I'm referring to VIP kid. Um, I I really strongly feel that the um, smart demo is your best option and the quickest way to get things rolling for you. Okay, the, um, the third step in the hiring process is your mock class. Now, a lot of people get discouraged by the mock class, like me. Okay, I was intimidated and I felt awkward. Okay, however, now being a VIP kid teacher, I feel like it was the most beneficial part of the process and great practice. Now, I'll tell you my story. Um, no, no, not, not yet. Okay, the mock class is one-on-one -on -one with a VIP veteran teacher. Okay, so you would enter the classroom with that veteran teacher and you would teach. Okay, you're gonna teach 10 to 15 minutes of these slides. Okay, the veteran teacher is going to act as your student. Okay, for me, that was the hardest thing to do because some of my um, VIP, T, VIP kid um, veterans, they really and truly acted as if a child would do. And I had a mental block thinking, they think I'm crazy. Do they think I'm stupid? What are they doing? Okay, they really and truly helped me understand what a student would be thinking on the other side of the screen as I was teaching. Okay? Don't get discouraged. That veteran teacher is there to help you. Now, you are going to enter the classroom. You're going to have a little conversation. They're going to tell you what you're going to teach. And then you're going to teach for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, then, in return, they're going to give you feedback. That feedback is crucial. Okay, it is to help you whether you pass that mock class or you don't. If you don't, don't get discouraged. Okay, I'm telling you, the mock classes are there to help you. Okay, um, the veteran teachers in the classroom, they want you to be just as successful in the classroom. So don't think that they're picking on you or that, you know, they don't like you. That's not the case. That is up here. That is not the case at all. They are there to help you be successful. So don't get discouraged. If you have to do more than one mock class, that's okay. It is truly great practice, okay? Um, and it really makes you better in the end. I had to do my mock class three times, okay? During the whole process, I was super skeptical. I let it go to my head, I was thinking, why are they acting like that? They, they're making me feel stupid. Um, I can't stress enough how grateful I was for the veteran teachers that I had in my mock classes because everything they told me, I would then implement and I feel like it made me a stronger teacher in the classroom. So don't take it personal. Um, when you're doing those mock classes, don't focus necessarily on the mock class. Um, or passing the mock class as much as taking that time and putting in your head that this is practice for me, okay? Not I have to pass, but this is good practice. Okay, it's just a good frame of mindset to put yourself in because we're not running a race here, okay? We're running a marathon and you have the slow and steady wins the race, 
okay? So um, think of it as practice and use those mock classrooms to help you become successful in the classroom, okay? Um, use that veteran teacher um, to ask questions. Uh, really and truly, I can't stress enough to really take those mock classes and think of them as a blessing and not a curse. I did not. I was one that was very skeptical. Um, so make sure you're not me because now that I'm a VIP kid teacher, I cannot tell you how grateful I was for those mock classes and those veteran teachers that helped me. Okay, the mock is really about getting you comfortable within the classroom before you're in that classroom with an actual student and you feel completely lost or confused, which you're still gonna do, don't think you're not. Okay, there are still days, sometimes I maybe forgot to review my slide and I get to it and I'm like, oh, I should have got that prop and I should have done this and I should have done that and then I feel all confused. Okay, you're still gonna do that, but within these mock classes, you are going to feel better and more comfortable with moving forward, okay? Now, after you pass that mock class, because you will, okay, just give it time, you're gonna have the level of teaching a two to three or a four to five. Those are the levels, a level two and three and a four and five classes. And once you get in there, you will have to read some material and take a quiz just kind of shows you the platform and what you're going to be seeing and what to look for and then that you know how to teach that material and what that level is asking for the, asking from the students, okay, just to help you. Now, as you're ending the end, there is a, um, all English, online English teachers um, have to have a form of TESOL certification, which is an online English teaching. Um, if you don't already have that coming into VIP Kid, that's okay, because VIP Kid offers what they call a VIP Kid TESOL certification. Now, it states that it takes about 10 hours. Well, don't get discouraged and don't feel like, don't let that intimidate you. Um, most, it took me about um, four hours to complete mine. Now, granted, I did not sit there at the computer the entire time. I took several breaks, but um, recently, if you use the right resources and you really focus, most of my referrals that I have referred um, are taking on average about two to four hours to complete their certification. So don't get discouraged when it says that 10 hours. Um, now once you get through the TESOL, there's also in your portal, once you get through the process, there's documents that you're gonna have to update. Okay, and the port within the portal, you're gonna have contact information and your background. So you're going to need to go there and within that you're going to upload a um, profile picture that you want people to see, a bio description, something fun about you, something that you want your families and students to read. Um, you're going to have to do an introductory video that can be as simple or as elaborate as you would like it. Um, you're also going to have your personal information and your background information or history, your schooling, what you know, what you did, that kind of thing. Um, I will have videos coming soon to help you through those if you um, need that assistance. Uh, VIP Kid also does a quick background check on you. VIP Kid doesn't actually do it. Um, they actually have it outsourced to a third party. That typically takes a couple of days to get back. So the entire um, hiring process takes about a week to a week and a half. If you're staying on top of it and you're, you're, you're at a good speed, like you should be. Um, once you've done the demo, keep pushing forward and don't get discouraged. It is worth it in the end, so just keep that momentum going. Um, I used to think, what am I doing? Um, the hours are a little different. I have to get up early, but I'm usually done teaching by 7, 7.30 because then I go to school to teach. Um, it is a great reward to see these children in the classroom each morning. You become so attached to them that I love teaching VIP kid just as much as I love teaching in the classroom. Okay, so it really and truly is worth all of the effort that you have to put into the hiring process. Okay, um, if you're struggling, reach out to a referring teacher along the way. Uh, hopefully they'll already have a plethora of resources already available to help you. You can always reach out to a former VIP kid teacher once you decide to apply. If you don't have someone, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. 
I'll leave my referral link in the um, description box as long as along with my email. Okay. Um, now, VIP Kid has recently changed their rules, so if you are adding a referring teacher, whether it's myself or any teacher that you know, um, you need to do that before the demo stage. They won't let you add that after you have completed the demo stage anymore. So, and that just kind of shares that link. Um, let's say that you referred, you use my referral code. Once you entered each process, it would send me an email and I serve as your coach reaching out to you or you could reach out to me if you have any questions or your cheering team. So those kind of help you along the way. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to think of anything I forgot. I don't think so. Um, if you find that VIP Kit is something that you would like to do and you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can shoot me an email on um, whatever you're comfortable with doing. Okay? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that as well as I will be posting more tips and strategies along the way. Hopefully this will put some of you and your nerves at ease and help you get ready to make the next step. As always, happy teaching. Bye, guys.